Good day everyone, Loki here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Icarus's Banter. This is a game that has been on the horizon for a little bit, and this is the very first Banter Weekend that they're doing. They're going to continue to do Banter Weekends, I think, every two weeks. Uh, which, yeah, we can actually see that right here. So every two weeks they're going to be adding more stuff, and then up to when the game actually launches, which is going to be in November. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd check out the very first Banter Weekend, which is just the first biome, which is the forest biome. But I thought it would still be interesting to take a look. Um, the reason why Icarus is it kind of half known half known is because it is the next game from the uh, game designer Dean Hall which is best known for Daisy or as being one of the people that has worked on Daisy originally um, and then went off to do other things um so let's go check it out I did already like run in here at some point which also means that if I press escape we can see this beautiful monstrosity because I deleted my character so I guess when you delete your character you become a headless person. Character name was left behind on the drop and permanently lost. Delete this character and create a new one. Um, yes, I shall do that. Also, I can click Joint Prospect. I don't know what happens then. Nothing. Okay, so we're going to create a new character. There we go. I think we look absolutely fabulous. Let's call ourselves Loki FM. Confirm our character. Let's drop into the planet. Well, onto the planet, preferably. If we go right into the planet, we're going to die. Alright, off we go. Onto the planet. Onto the planet we go. What do these things say right here? Release valve. Uh, don't forget the radar. Before you return, stop. Sh sure. Oh, actually, we have a little window up there. Open the gate onto my new planet. So yeah, one of the big premises of this game is actually that you have this uh, mission timer that you see at the top right there, which that mission timer will actually determine how long we're going to be able to stay out here on this planet. And uh, as you can see, it does count down in real time. I wonder if we can actually make that skip time if we in some way uh, get to sleep, like you can do in many other uh, survival games. So I don't know exactly how that works, uh, but... As far as I have seen, we do have uh, typical crafting, survival -y type of stuff straight away. Um, the first things we can build right here is a pickaxe and an axe, uh, which I should get some stones for. Luckily, I already went right in and I'm grabbing as much fiber and sticks as I can, uh, because that's the most important part when you just start a survival game. Obviously, you go and look on the ground and you grab every single stick and every single piece of fiber that you can, and you go and do that. Uh, I'm kind of mainly looking for stones right now. I think I do have enough. Oh, what do I? What is that? Oh, we got a, we got a wolf. I literally do not have anything to defend myself with. I think. Can we punch it? We cannot punch it. Okay, we're gonna have to craft a pickaxe. All right. That. Yep. Great. Um, we win. Also, we can skin this, but we do need to be able to make a stone knife. Then we're going to be skinning it. Uh, I guess this is a blessing in the skies, because this snow wolf will get us some uh, some leather, some fur, some bones, some raw meat, some everything. Uh, which is good. You know, meat we can eat, meat we can cook. And uh, I think with the fur, we're going to be needing later on as well. The only downside right now is that my health... It's relatively low. Also, we did level up, which does mean that we have a talent, and you have this gigantic talent tree right here. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, there's another wolf right there. Um, can I make a regular spear? I do not have the regular spear on lock. Let's make the regular spear. This could be really, really bad. <laughs> we, we could be in a little bit of a pickle with my health right here. Okay, I feel like... I feel like if we don't piss it off too badly, then it's not going to care about us. I am worried, though. We are also seen. What are you? A raccoon. Ooh. Yes, I shall be taking more things. There we go. Let's, let's learn how to make a campfire. Then we'll put down a campfire. We do need more stone for that, though. Which we can actually get right here by not punching the rock. 
I'm mining the rock. All right, we can now make it. And hopefully by us putting down this campfire. Which, of course, is not lit. Oh. We have sticks. We can put them in there. Sticks, sticks, sticks. There we go. And let's put the meats on there as well, which apparently... I'm going to assume that a little bit of a green meter probably is how not good they are. Also, there's a wolf. There is a wolf. Please, please stay away from me. I cannot jump up here. No. Yeah, can't get to me now, wolf, can you? No. You made a mistake today. All right, so the fire does not scare the wolves. I shall note that. Also, I just realized we have an O2 meter, which does mean that we we require oxygen. I am not exactly sure how we get oxygen. Ooh, we actually killed that in one go. All right. Oh, it got a child. Oh no, I'm. Oh fuck. I just. I just destroyed a family. I'm sorry. All right, how far is my meat? Okay, we got two cooked meat. That's good, so we got some food. Um, also, we are going to need water. Okay, there's water right there. Wonderful. Um, this one isn't done cooking. Um, it does seem like it retains how far it's cooked, but we do need some more sticks so that we can continue cooking it. Oh, and it does also give charcoal, which, um, bu -bu 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 I don't know what it does yet, but we're going to grab it into our inventory. I'm sure it's going to be useful at some point. Here, take some more fire. And there we go. The cooked meat is done, which it does instantly put it to the side as well, which does, I guess, mean that you won't overcook your, overcook your meat, which that's nice. All right. So our health is still low. Um, does eating food actually heal us? It does provide the cooked meat buff. Also, we are apparently bleeding, which means we do not have any health regeneration. Um, I think... Yeah, we can make bandages from fiber after we learn it, which I now did. So that should mean that we can make some of these. Let's make the, ma the maximum amount. Let's bandage ourselves. And then I th guess we should also eat one of these uh, one of these meats. Just so we can get that buff. Which I'm not sure what the buff does, but we're going to see now. Uh, extends your stamina, health, and regeneration. So it does increase your maximum health regeneration. Oh, it actually increases your maximum health itself as well. That's uh, pretty big. That's pretty good. Um, it does seem that we are going to need water relatively soon. So I think we should probably go and make ourselves over to that... Uh, that water over there. Uh, we do also have these Talon points that I haven't spent yet because we've got two Talon points. Um, there is quite a lot of things to choose from. Ah, yes. So there is a tap that's specifically for when you're playing solo because I think the game understands that if you are playing this game solo, you're going to, in general, have a harder time. Although a bunch of these are coming soon. It does seem that we can take something like, for example, this Gotta Go Fast, which straight away is 10% extra movement speed. Which, that does seem pretty big. I also saw movement speed over here. So there is a movement speed for this. Oh, and there's also a ranking at the top, as you can see. So as you put more skill points in here, that ranking is going to go up. I don't know what that's going to do. I hear an animal. Hello. Do you, do you want to die in the same spot as your other friendly? Because I will... Yep, there. All right. I am very glad to provide... Your desires, Wolf. There, there you go. I can hear another one. Oh! Oh, that's unfortunate. Luckily, their weakness is me standing on the rock. Also, that knife has a terrifying range, it turns out. We're just going to throw that on there and hope that it cooks. We've got, we got a couple of sticks in there. Let's go over to the water. Uh, drink some water. Hopefully that's going to help us to regenerate health as well. Maybe use another bandage now that I think about it. Especially since we are bleeding again. So we have, once again, no regeneration because we get hit once. 
Water source. Hold to drink. Wonderful. So that just completely filled our water. Uh, and we have a cooling effect from it. I am still a little concerned about that oxygen meter, though, because we are going to be needing oxygen at some point. Now, can we actually get oxygen over at our drop pod? No. We do seem to be able to put some items into our drop pod, so that's interesting. So it acts as a bit of a storage, and you can also end your mission right here. So that is interesting as well. Yes, mining anything does give us some blueprint points and does give us some uh, some levels. Uh, and I do think we need to progress in the levels if we want to be able to make some more interesting stuff. Because right now we can only make some very basic stuff. Ooh, there we go. Um, so apparently in the blueprint tree there is an oxidizer. A simple device for processing oxide into oxygen. Does look like a very primitive device for something that's going to supply us oxygen in our suit, but, um, you know, I'll take it. We'll build it near our other thing. Best to add one oxide. Okay, so which one of these is oxide? Oh, that's the rock that we just mined. All right, there we go. So that is now doing its thing. It's processing that into oxygen. But it does have a no shelter sign around it. I am going to assume... Yeah, I'm going to assume that you need to have a shelter around it so it provides oxygen to that shelter. Which obviously, because there's no shelter around it, it's just providing oxygen to the large planet. So we're going to need to build some things around it. Which I do not have the blueprint points for. So we're going back to mining. Uh, otherwise, maybe we can find a cave of some sort. And then maybe we can oxidize the cave. That's iron ore. That's still fine. That's still going to give us stuff. So here we go. I just unlocked the thatcher beam, thatch floor, thatch wall. Uh, which does mean that we should now be able to make ourselves a very simple basic shelter. Uh, given that we do have fiber and sticks. So I guess that means time to go and get some more fiber. Time to get some more sticks. Alright, a bunch of fiber and sticks later. We can now build some stuff. There we go. It does seem to like nicely snap onto a grid like that. Floor. Deploy. There we go. So we got a little bit of a floor, and we're just going to simply put some walls around it. There we go. And we're also going to put a roof on top, or well, another floor on top. There we go. And then hopefully, because this is now a shelter, or at least I hope the game counts it as a shelter, hopefully we can now... Get some oxygen going. Oh, apparently you can just click press to consume oxygen on it. I don't know if I could do that before. But I can definitely do that now. So it's it's slowly turning that oxide into oxygen. Nice. So we can now make a bow. Obviously we need to be able to make some stone arrows as well. Uh, so that we have a better chance of defending ourselves. Um, also, there's wood piles and stone piles, and there was a noise just now. I don't know what that was. But there was a noise. Weather event incoming. Minor showers appear. Okay, well, that's fine. Minor showers is fine. It does look like there's thunder as well. Looking storm incoming. That's minor showers and now storm. Now it's very light rain. Now it's a storm. Uh. 
music became spooky. The world is a little spookier as well. It does still feel like it's not too heavy rain, though. I am getting cold if I stay out there, though. Let's chill in my amazing shelter. I am still getting cold in my amazing shelter. It really doesn't seem too bad, honestly. Oh, uh, what's this negative effect? Movement speed down. Ooh, okay. Storm exposure, no shelter. Ooh, okay, so the game really wants you to, like, be in a shelter while a storm is happening. All right. Doesn't seem to be too bad, but... The game says that I should stay in here. I guess I will. 